Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be making envelopes and uh, fabric envelopes. And I, I made these um, for Christmas. Aren't they cute? They're so sweet. Look, there's a little, a little wax seal and they button and they're reusable, like you can put things in there. I'm just gonna show you the ones I made for Christmas. You can make them for all different holidays or even the anniversaries or birthday gifts. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you them here. The little, the little bow um, postage stamp. Yes, and then the seal. And I put little leafies underneath the seal as if you like stamp the seal in foliage. And it's got like a little address and a little sticker, Merry Christmas. This one, I went like crazy with the ink and alternated blue and red. Oh, and I did embroidery on some of them. What other? And borders around the frame. Um, for the back fasten, it's got like two buttons and then you would just twist it around the button. Uh, yeah, so those are the Christmas ones that I made. So let's get started and make some Valentine's themed fabric envelopes. <laughs> if you'd like to take time to subscribe to my channel, I notice a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed and I would really appreciate it and it would really help my channel grow and reach more people if we had some more subscribers. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Okay, let's make the fabric wax seals. Knob toppers. And I'm going to be using this speed ball ink but I like to use I like using this sometimes because it's water soluble and unlike other inks it doesn't like it doesn't penetrate into the fabric it, it like stays on the surface like opaque which is a different effect it's not better it's just different and some polyester fabric and some pretty romantic colors I'm gonna choose a few of these to work with this is a trick I learned from one of you guys. Don't leave my prayer <laughs> lying like this. Uh, you flip it over and set it down like that. You want to stamp that and you want to give yourself some space. Like more like that, yeah. I think I'll move on to a different color fabric. These will show nicely on some darker fabric as well. Such a pretty color. Oh, I twisted there. Oopsie. Still pretty. This color. take some of that color off the brush and I'm just gonna soften that inside line and I'm gonna do a little bit on the inside as well and this is why you would use like an ink that's water soluble you could I don't know you might be able to get away with using paint but I really don't like using paint on my stamps because I find it so challenging to get off and this this ink isn't as easy to get off as the IOD inks to clean but it's a lot easier to clean than like straight up paints. I think I like five out of the six so that's pretty good. Put those aside to dry and we're gonna just kind of rough cut them out a little bit here. Okay, so I have these all done. Look how pretty they look. 
bunch of them all together here. Next, we're gonna make some of those faux stickers. For the faux stickers, I thought I would go loud and bold, more like comical vintage, versus the other ones I'm gonna go for more romantic. I got these hearts. I want a bunch of them. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna put these to the side. Let's get some pink flowers too. I wanna do the little cherubs. Let's do a few pink ones. Rough cut. I'm not gonna do this with all of them, so then I'm gonna leave them full, but I'm gonna cut the outside a little bit on this guy. I want to have my little flowers put down on white fabric, and then I wanna cut around there again to kind of give it more of an illusion of a sticker, like having a white halo around the edge. I think I'm going to opt to put a thin layer of hot glue on there. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it quite thin if I can help it and just put it on the edges. So far, so good. Okay, this is working out well. Just risk burning myself, but... I don't mind that for the sake of art. I'll just go ahead and show you what one will look like and catch you up when I'm done all of them. working on my next element. I'd like to make some postage stamps. There, I'm gonna be precise with these. So I'm gonna cut these out. And I'll go ahead and put some more rectangles and squares. Let's buy these all out. Get some ink down and stamp. Okay, so I finished stamping those up. Pin them all. <laughs> to some polyester fabric. Um, here I pin them to some linen fabric and then some polyester fabric underneath. And over here, I pin them to some flannelette with the polyester fabric underneath. And I changed my mind and I think I'm going to actually sew some of these down to these layered up pieces of fabric. To the sewing machine! I'm going to go back and forth between a striped stitch and a zigzag stitch and go out on uh, sew these down to all my lips. So I'm gonna cut these out, but I'm gonna only go through one layer. I'm gonna 
get them a quarter of an inch overhang. Just folding the back side away so I can cut freely. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's almost done. So I guess we're just gonna cut these out. Preemptively pull out the loose fibers a little bit here. They're so cute. So tiny. I left like a tail on this guy. And I'm just gonna snip up to the top. That's fine. I just recall that I did not heat set these yet, so I'm gonna heat set them. Okay, so they're all washed. I'm just gonna trim the excessively long stringy bits. Just a little haircut. Just gonna take some of my little markers and embellish those a touch. Sweep it in some the light areas here so I don't lose all my detail. Okay, it's time to make the actual envelopes. Okay, so what I did for those is I have rectangles that I cut out and two different fabrics. So there's like a front and a back. And what I'm gonna do here, you can just fold over like this, right? And then you fold it again in half like that so that you have the top flap of the envelope hanging over and you're just, just going to want to make sure that even and those two points are even. I finger press that all together. I'm going to take your scissors and corner. I'm going to snip up a little bit. I'm going to turn my scissors straight to the point, to the corner there. And I'm lucky it's all even and flat. And here's my little foldover envelope. So I have a little one like that, or you could do them hangs lower on the envelope and is rounded. You could just just flip over like that with a pointy top or a rounded top. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Just to give you a rough idea, my smaller ones, they're six inches long, four and a half inches wide. My larger ones, 10 inches long, six inches wide. Okay, let's get sewing these guys together. I'm gonna start just in a random spot probably like on, on one of the sides because I'm gonna hand sewing that was closed anyway. So around the whole perimeter and leave yourself a little, a little gap so you can flip it on in right side out. So make sure you put your good sides facing in. I don't feel like the fabrics are shifting around very much so I did the lazy thing and I didn't pin it down. I don't want to flip it on the corner. Nobody puts paper on the corner. I'm gonna cut off my corners and I do it in a little crescent shape. The round corners, I'm not even going to trim those up a little bit and turn it 
right side in. And then it's gonna be time for embellishing it with our little stampies and seals that we've made. And I'm also gonna go in there with some more stamps because more the merrier. Just rolling that hem with my fingers. So I'm just ignore this for now. See, like I'm gonna be folding the walls up here and hand sewing those down. And at this point too, you could decide which you want to be your inside fabric and what you want to be your outside fabric. And you can play with how far you want your little flippy thing to be as well. So I'm going to sew up the rest of the 20 envelopes and I'll get back to you with the next step, next process, all that good stuff. A few moments later. I'm going to stamp some of the kinder, kindest regards on the inside of the envelopes. I think it'll be a pretty little detail on the insides. Pretty. Ah. Pretty again. Mm -hmm. Come to me, my precious. Oh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp to and from on a bunch of them. So I'm gonna like pre-fold them like how, so I know my placement for how they will look. So on the front, these texts, those little texts from the Christmas set look really nice up in the corner, I think. You can imagine a little postage stamp going over here. And your little seal. Yeah, so that could be one. Several days later. I'm gonna use button seals on that one. And these guys use the large seals. Let's stick a heart on this guy. Get this one. The decorative, more fancy one. little cherub peeking out from there. That's cute. And I'm just going to leave these hangs, uh, ends, tails hanging out and when I want to go to hand sew it, I'll tuck it in there. This one's so teeny tiny, it won't, won't fit anything on this one. <laughs> Cute though. It's time to sew these all together now. I'm gonna use a wood stitch. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm just gonna fold them over and I'm gonna start from the top corner. There's my hole there, so I'm gonna tuck that in there and make sure I catch that as I'm sewing. But I'm going to whip stitch from this side, stitching here, and I'm gonna go to the back side and catch the front piece. And 
and try to avoid the middle pieces. By doing that, I can close these off without seeing that um, inside fabric on it. So what did you guys think? Would you like to see me do make more of these? Or are you guys going to make them yourselves? I know I kind of went crazy with the details and like fussy bits, but like you can pick and choose what details you want to incorporate in your projects. How cute would it be to make one larger version and sew it up and put stuffing in it, make a big letter pillow and you could embroider a special secret message on the inside. Oh, what should we put on the inside of these? I know I made one for each of our family members and I'm gonna like attach them to like a garland and it'll be like a new tradition for us. Like instead of like Christmas stuffing stockers, we'll like maybe put a few little goodies in here. What do you think I should put in them? Leave a comment down in the comment bar and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and click the little bell button if you want to be notified when my next video is uploaded. Thanks you guys so much. I Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the project. Um, until our next project, see you. Bye bye.